nine years, our bishops have issued consecutively nine uh, uh, communiques. You know, they've issued nine communiques that, that have uh, communiques that, that have spoken about, about, about this uh, problem, about this issue. And so, um, it's, it's, it's not something that uh, is, is just happening. It's just that this time, we think that in order, I mean, to add to uh, the, the various communiques and the various uh, 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 letters that we've been writing, we, we need to put some action to what we are doing and that's the reason why we are we are backing on this on this work. So what is the role of the church uh, beyond uh, this process? I know this this was only the, first, the beginning but beyond this what do you think the role of the what, what role can the church play in fighting to stop Galamse now? In fact this is not the beginning. This is along the line. The church has been seriously engaged in advocacy for very long. I'm sure you've heard of Father Blake who has managed to uh, get a community chairman in the Western region uh, to, to declare that, that town, to declare that town a no guarantee town, you know, and, and Father Blake has been working very hard amongst other priests and other religious and other members of the church. Indeed, the church has been so much involved in advocacy and education and and all of these things, you know, trying to uh, uh, get the people alternate life livelihoods, you know. So this is just one of the the things in the in the process, you know, in the long line of things that the church is doing. And beyond this, the church will continue to play its advocacy role. The church will continue to do education. The church will continue to get uh, some of these people other uh, uh, sources of of of, of, of uh, income instead of uh, uh, depending on. on Join our, 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 our. You know, uh, organized people also embarked on a uh, strike yesterday, but based on government intervention that is put in place to stop Galaxy, including sending soldiers onto the Galaxy side to sign their equipment and everything. Uh, I, I'm just surprised that like, they are still, I, I know, are there interventions not enough from government? Have you engaged the police members to see if you can discuss with them going forward what you can do to help help this matter? Is it enough? Is it enough? I'm sure you know that this is not a demonstration. A this protest. is a prayer war. Now we are praying for government. In fact, that is what we are doing. We are praying that government will have the the energy, will have the wisdom, will have the the the, the willpower to be able to carry through whatever uh, intentions they have to be able to do what will stop this Galamsey uh, menace. So we are actually praying. Whichever way, in fact, before the government announces, we said we'll pray that God will give them a wisdom and knowledge for them to be able to come out with something. Now that they've come out with something, we're going to pray that God will help them because it's not just, you know, it's one thing saying, you know, we'll do ABC. It's another thing actually doing. And it's another thing uh, uh, for that intervention to actually yield the results it, it will. And so we are, we are, we are going to pray that these uh, interventions will actually be carried out and that these interventions will also yield the results. I mean, we saw Galam stop, we were seeing all kinds of things and they didn't work. We're going to pray that this time around, whatever intervention the church is, is, is coming up with, will work. Okay, so what message do you intend to give to Ghanaians, especially those involved with the illegal mind? Uh, to all Ghanaians, we are saying, look, this is our land. The Lord bequeathed this to us and, and we are supposed to you take care of, of, of this land and so every Ghanaian should wake up there is nothing partisan about this if we will die we will not die because we are in one party or another we will die because we are in this land and so everybody should sit up everybody should get involved and let's make this work for those who are in the Galamse sites we say we are praying that the Holy Spirit will touch them that whatever their motivations are they will begin to think more about Ghana they will be you know, think also about posterity so that we don't destroy what God has given us so posterity will have nothing to do. Thank you so much, Edward, and I wish you all the best with this. Thank you very much. Yeah, so Thank you.